Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode here on the Shamblecraft server. And you join me on my cute little pier outside of my second starter house. And as you can see behind me, we are progressing ahead on the village. But today, we are actually going to cover a couple of things, and that is for good reason. And I'm going to be talking while I'm walking. So basically, uh, I have been working here with the, the village and the village project for a while now, and I'm starting to get really happy with how this looks. However, um, for the next month, you might have seen this on Twitter already, but as I put on Twitter about uh, a couple of days ago now, um, I will very shortly be going on a break. And this is for several reasons. The main reason and the important reason being that I am currently finishing my master's thesis and because of that I just need the time to do that. Uh, doing a master's degree is considered full time and if I want to actually finish this and it is my intention to do so I am going to have to put in uh, basically all my energy into that for the coming weeks. Also, with the pandemic, uh, the master's degree, a full-time job, uh, and, and creating videos and everything, I've noticed that I do need a little break uh, so I don't completely burn myself out. So, while I'm finishing my master's thesis, as I wrote on Twitter, I am going to be gone for the next month. So, as I'm recording this, it is the end of April, the tail end of April. Uh, we are not too far away from the end of the headhunt. But before we deal with the headhunt, which is going to be the main focus of this episode, there are a couple of other things we need to have a look at. And first of all, we actually need to go inside my base. You see, uh, about two weeks ago, about a week and a half ago actually, I celebrated my 31st birthday. So first of all, thank you very, very much to everyone in Discord and elsewhere who sent me um, congratulations and congratulatory messages. Thank you very, very much for that. I really appreciate it. And a lemon. Huh. Uh, I have been told that inside my base there are birthday gifts. And the thing is, I haven't actually been inside my base for about two weeks because I've been so swamped with other projects and I've been working mostly on the outside. So, I've basically been told, head into your base and make sure you record. So, I can already tell that there are sheep. What the heck? Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> Happy birthday, enjoy the goodies. Love NJ and her chat. And we got a bunch of books. A cocoa beans, of course. It is NJ. Brewing stands, leather, cake. Uh, thank you very, very much, NJ and NJ's chat. Uh, I really appreciate it. Happy birthday, Fally. Love Sammy. P.S. This totally didn't used to be a shulker you left at my base. I'm sure it's not. Mm. Sammy has gifted me poisonous potatoes. I am going to elect to not interpret that in an interesting way. But yeah, oh, sea lanterns. Oh, crimson stems. I'm always running out of those. Thank you. Very uh, oh, and it's the, the 12 bamboo. It is the 12 bamboo. The 12 bamboo. Thank you very, very much, Sammy, as well, for the lovely gift and to whoever left me all these lemons. Uh, and someone also left me a TARDIS. Thank you very much. I actually did... I'm going to have to check who did that because some this was actually left earlier. I think it might have been Johnny, but I'm going to look into that. So I don't know. It could have been Sixy as well. But... Um, so about these yellow sheep... Is there any particular reason my base is filled to the brim with yellow sheep? 
Oh, they're, they're lemon. They're cool. Ah. Oh. Well, you know, I've been thinking of making a sheep farm, so I guess this helps. <sighs> well, <sighs> silly sod. Anyway, thank you very, very much to all of you who left these presents. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much, NJ. Thank you very much, Sammy. Thank you very much, all of you. I am going to very quickly hop back out. I'm going to seal off so not all the sheep don't escape. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what is going to happen next. So, basically... This is the village, and it is mostly done. There is one thing we haven't finished, and that is this temple. And that is simply because I haven't been able to find any good design for it. So that needs to be um, designed, so that's something that's going to happen in a future episode. And also, we need to finish a couple of things over here. We need to put a sail on this here boat. We need to put the, the lights in this here tower and we need to do some other bits here and there we need to decorate this edge here we need to decorate this side of the island i'm thinking we need to do something with the turtles to make that seem more logical and we actually need to set up the animal pens that are going to be over there but yeah that has been basically a very long shot of me returning and talking about my break and opening my birthday present so uh, thank you all for your birthday presents and thank you all for your birthday wishes i really really appreciate it i appreciate every one of you thank you very very much but what we need to do right now viewers we need to head over to the main island so we can get up to speed on what's going on in the headhunt so over here is the headhunt building that you've seen in previous episodes and as you can see the price pool is really starting to grow and also the team awesome here has been able to procure a lots of heads we are actually currently in the running for a pretty good spot in the uh, the final results uh, and here we have mickness who is probably going to win the whole thing but we'll deal with that later so anyway what we are going to do now we're going to see can we manage to get team awesome consisting of me nj badger and strange a little bit up the ladder and maybe even score second place and uh, yeah that is basically what we want to do and also um, one of the things we need to do we are actually as you um, as you're watching this this is actually being recorded right now on the final day of the headhunt it is now April 30th and the headhunt actually ends in about three and a half hours and i'm going to be streaming that um there might be some highlights um of that um in the video but what we need to do is see if we can score some more heads and get our tally up before this thing ends in three and a half hours time is running out so yeah let's get cracking <sighs> Alrighty then, viewers, so we are finally at Stranger's Base. And this is actually a place that some of you might recognize from earlier. And I actually did a little booby. I took the wrong end of portal and ended up over there. God knows whose base. But anyway, hopefully we can find some heads here you see what johnny has done and that's the reason i have my f3 menu open is that johnny has placed a bunch of heads <laughs> i'm actually going to take that shulker box and uh, what johnny has done he has placed a bunch of these little things all around the place so basically what you do now you go around and you look for uh shulker boxes based on clues and coordinates that johnny had left and they give you a partial coordinate and also some other clue that is supposed to make it easier for you to actually find something and right now i actually have his latest list of uh, of clues 
on my other screen and I'm now trying to de decipher the rest of them. So this one is supposed to end on a 28. And that was at 1.9 something. Which is definitely over here. So if I follow this to 6.0 oh something. That's 6.0 oh something. And then 190 something is this way. Gone too far. Oh, found the other one. Uh, and it's my head. <sighs> I've just collected my own head. Killed by Wolfstool. Dang it. Okay, so that's another one. Well, okay then, viewers. We have made our way over to Sammy's base after some more futile attempts at finding anything over at Strangers. And immediately we're greeted with this by the same skeletons who greeted us over at, at Strangers' place. Is this what... It, is this what having a fan club feels like? Do fans usually come after you with bows and arrows? Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to look at the coordinates. So we need to bring up the F3 menu here. And we're going to look for some of the coordinates. So we can see that Sammy's ends with... A 90 and a 14. Could you not? So a 90. A 90 and a 14 and a 20. Looky here. Let's eat. 90, 20, 14. Fourteen. Hey, there we go. And another zombie horse head. You're joking. Uh, okay, what we actually need to do, we need to put some of these into this shulker box. And just pick up the shulker box. We did get the shulker box, right? Right. Let's go. Well, okay, viewers, these are exciting times. We may just have scored a whole bunch of points. You see, Gerson here has a lot of mini blocks. Holy crap, he has a lot of mini blocks. And, yeah, he has offered us to buy these for the price, well, rather, we have offered him 25 diamond blocks. And these are now mine. Nice. Pleasure doing business. Pleasure doing business. Good, sir. Which means we can now... Let's, let's do some quick math here. So, well, I can just do this. And I should... So that one... This one contains... So that's 64... So that's what that's 64 and that's another 32 so that's 96 plus another 8 plus another 6 oh i need to uh, viewers let me do the math okay i'll cut this bit out um so that's nine rows across so that's 18 times 8 a lot of boring math later Right, so after doing some quick math though, viewers, I can tell you right now that we have more than enough uh, mini blocks here. And why do we need mini blocks, you say? Well, you see, as we uh, were gathering things, you might have noticed that we got these mini block submission tokens. And what they are, are basically, well, well, exactly what it says on the tin, really. They are tokens 
that let you submit mini blocks and some of these are actually quite valuable we've got 520 point tokens that's 100 points straight away we've got a 10 pointer there so that's 110 we've got 11 five pointers so that's another 55 and then we got two and a half stacks of one pointer so that's like 500 points almost that's a lot of points uh, and however to hand these in you also need to hand in mini blocks and luckily gerson uh sold me some of these now as you just saw in the previous clip so with that we should be really really doing well in terms of getting that coveted second place well okay then viewers as you can probably tell from uh, the chaos around me things are starting to heat up and the reason for that is that as the time stands right now there is just over an hour left of the headhunt and uh, yeah we've been keeping busy so if i can go down here and avoid being murdered you will see that we have collected a whole bunch of heads in addition to the mini blocks as i pointed out earlier and we also managed to get another 20 point token which is great news so with that plus a bunch of nj heads that we picked up here from no place in particular um we are now hopefully gonna zoom past mikey and the others here into a comfortable second place uh but yeah as i said only an hour uh, just over an hour remain and uh with me here on stream right now this is being recorded on stream um and with me in voice we have uh, the as i've as i've referred to him the chief architect of the headhunt mr johnny so johnny what are your thoughts on the race as it stands right now well it's really been quite active over the past hour and a bit and it's really close but i don't see any changes in the ordering unfortunately so um yeah there's still only about 400 points in it right now between it's... the um second third and fourth and of course meekness is well ahead with six thousand points more than anybody else right um, so basically right now it's it's a race for second place and um uh I know that you haven't done all the tallying yet. I know that there's a bunch of points in here, for instance, that you haven't tallied and a couple of others here and there. But um, what do you think, Johnny? Does my team have a fighting chance? Um, yeah, there's a pretty good chance to to change the positions right there with the fact that you bought all of those mini blocks. Um, I think you might make it to third. I don't know whether you'll make it to first with those points now. Well, I well getting first that we've given up a long time ago. But if we can manage to get second here, I'm going to be happy. I, I'm thinking third, um, not second even. Dang it! So. Well, you know what that means, viewers. We need to keep going because there's barely an hour left in this, and I really want that second place. Well, okay then, viewers. So more business has been going on, and uh, that is very good because there's just twenty minutes left. But if you have a look. In the chat right now, me, Mechanism and Murin have basically now come to an agreement that we will be purchasing some of these 50-point tokens from Mechanism and Murin for 10 shulkers of requestable materials, not including uh, stuff like obsidian and diamond and emeralds, uh, and also 10 blocks of netherite. And uh, with that, that is going to give us about 700 and 50 points uh, which should really help us hopefully edge into second place so naturally of course this is the sort of future deal i do not have on me at this very moment 10 netherite blocks but i will be giving a little down payment that is literally all the netherite i have on me that is one ingot short of a block Consider it a down payment, and I will be providing the remaining nine blocks and one ingot, along with the ten shulkers that can be requested in the future. So, there we have it. We have 15 mini block submissions that go into 
this one. And because we already have a bunch of heads here, uh, that should really, really help. Pony, Fally, present. Sorry, got a cough. Give me a second. <coughs> we have been given heads. Oh, God, I nearly said that light. Scratch that from the recording. Um. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> This is getting, but just put a, a, a cheek. That's 750 points he's just given you. That's 750 points. And we've also been given some squid heads, a donkey head, and a gold rabbit head from Pony. Hey! To be fair, with just the bonus points, Meekness would still be in the lead. <laughs> with just all, all of the bonus points, uniqueness is, and. Stuff yeah. That he's but anyway, view yeah. But anyway, viewers, we um, as you can probably tell, this is still being recorded on stream. And as I look at my watch, we now have twenty minutes left, and Pony is about to drop a hint for a uh, special box that is uh, has been placed somewhere on the server. This is basically going to be the last. Quick fire bounty, a quick fire bounty, really. Except it's not a bounty; it's more of a quick fire hunt. Uh, pony. This is the hint. I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna put the the hint cords in the in-game chat. The hint is: the Horns Army stands watch. Good boy. Well, boys. The Horns Army stands watch. Good boys. Good boys. Oh, it's. Eggs in the boat take a damage. Okay. The Horns Army stand guard. Good boys. I I think maybe. This is net. It did make us get that one. How? <laughs> How did you find it? Where? The horn's army. So the horn would be who's got the horn on the server? Well, there are two people. There's Pony's the army. Server. Pony's army. Pony's army are good boys. What sort of? The horde of cats is born. But why would the Y coordinate be one? Because it's not Y one. It's eleven or twenty one or. It was at 61. 61. Oh, because the first Y could be any number. Dang it. Yes, like with the X's and the Z's. I got very confused for a second. Dang it. The my, I just saw Y1 and I was like, oh, that's going to be the that's going to be the Enderman farm because that's the only thing we have that's at Y equals 1. And Mick might have just gotten an insane amount of tokens out of that. Ah. Oh. Well, okay then, viewers, you can probably even see my face. This is one of the rare cases where I actually record a segment with my webcam on, and that's so I can see the timer and everything. So, as you can see, the headhunt is just about to end. There is currently 15 seconds left on the clock. And, uh, yeah, we're basically ready for a countdown here, really. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... And the headhunt has ended. Yeah. The headhunt has ended. The world has been saved. The server is restarting. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, that the headhunt is firmly over. So that was a nice little countdown there. Thank you to everyone for playing. And we're going to be back in a couple of minutes with the results. I also got a tropical fish. Fish right heads, there. fish heads, tropical fish heads. Uh, well, if if this <laughs> if this crowd can calm down, we will be starting the ceremonies. <clears throat> so, viewers, players, fellow Shamblecraftians, it is now May the first, at least in most of Europe and as such the headhunt is officially over 
And uh, what only remains now, really, is to have the results. I believe Johnny, who is here somewhere, has the results. Uh, but first of all, uh, we, of course, have to double check with our scrutineer. You will know that sound. Are the results valid? Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I can confirm that all the jury votes have been uh, validated and uh, they are confirmed. They are uh, safe. So all I can say is take it away. Well, all right, then. So we have a valid result. Uh, Johnny, uh, the stage is yours to let us know how this thing ended. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have result. So I have put in a lot of hours, and so have many of you. Uh, I have been told by Mickness that his team managed to put in nearly 400 hours up into the head games, which is really impressive. The, the player with the least amount of time, though, is Hook. And because of that, they end up with a lowest score of 67, which really speaks for itself <laughs> in many ways. But they got the most points per hour in the game, so they were the most efficient with their point collecting. Woo! Uh, in sixth place, nice. we, uh, we have Woo! Squid with 1,247 points. Hey! GG Squid! Yay, Woo! Squid! Uh, next, we have in fifth place Gerson, Croc, and Null with 1,587 points. Hey. They got mostly from killing players, which I'm really impressed by. Uh, yes. I think Null got. I think Null got most of those points during the first stream. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they got. They were certainly the most blood first, first in terms of players. Mm -hmm. um, Null got me good reason, today. They were the reason I couldn't go to my base ever. <laughs> <laughs> that does not surprise me. Um, so fourth place. Um, this this is. Really close um, between fourth, third, and second, but well, it was for like the last hour. And fourth <laughs> place had been second for right up until the last hour. It's Mikey Cat with 2,345 points. Hey, hey Mikey Cat! Nice. Which brings us to third, second, and first, which are. Um, Third is Orca Kellogg and Dark. With yeah. 2,663 points. Ooh. Wood, 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 hey. Hey. Yeah. Second, which everybody's here for, really, is uh, Badger, <laughs> Fally, NJ, and Strange with 3,300 points exactly. Hey. And the runaway first place winner with over 10,000 points. 10,200 to be precise, is Mick and Muirin. Woohoo! Woo you, yay! You're the big wiener! <laughs> um, <laughs> what's surprising is they didn't manage to get the, the most points per hour. Which they, they only managed to get 26 points per hour, but they having put in nearly 400 hours, they... Did a lot of work and it's really, really well deserved. I am really happy. It is uh, built a lot of farms. With that yeah. grindy life. One of these farms killed me. Um, <laughs> I, oh, don't oh, worry, oh, I, I gave Johnny the box. Don't worry. <laughs> um, talking of the grind, um, on this server, I've estimated a half a million kills to collect all the heads that have Disgusting. been submitted. Good wow. lord. Yeah, you you have really outdone yourself in so many ways. Um, I, I'm really really impressed. And yeah, there are all sorts of bits and bits in there. I have now got a load of clean up to do. I am not doing this again. It has <laughs> at this point it has sucked eighty hours of my life to keep <laughs> the entertainment going for you guys. Um, Bless. So. I, while I'm really happy and I'm really glad that all you guys have enjoyed it, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> um, 
I will put up all of the um, statistics and the spreadsheet that I've done on um, this, uh, on the Discord um, probably in the next hour or so um, for the stream. And well, it will already be there for everybody who wants to get it from Sally's video, and you can probably link it below. Thank you very so... much for your time, and I shall exit stage right. <laughs> <laughs> and while Johnny X says, I think it is very important to actually give a big credit to Johnny for doing all of this work and arranging all of this and sort of being the mastermind behind it. So a round of applause for Johnny. Woohoo, Johnny! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and now, after party. Oh, do I need to, do I need to put on the remix again? Yeah. <laughs> Let's shake it. Come on. Keep, oh my god, look at the phantoms. Sorry, that is mostly my fault. I haven't slept. Oh yes, yeah, no, those are those are all me. Excuse me, I'm gonna go take care of it. <laughs> Have at the death pigeons! <laughs> I ain't afraid of no pigeons. Come here. I'm helpful. Well, with all of this going on, uh, viewers, what I think I'm going to say is thank you very, very much for watching this episode. And uh, the results full spreadsheet will be linked in the description below. And as I said, I will be taking a break. So I shall be seeing you all in about a month for a new episode of Shamblecroft. But until then, uh, take care, have a nice evening, and yeah, bye. Woo! You got this. Enjoy the break. Was of course the legendary Fallion nineties remix of the Sean Hills Joe Hills tune lines. It has uh, it has been rated by both Sean and Joe. Sean gave it a heart. Uh, Joe gave it a Y. <laughs>